Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back, of course, with another video, part two of this video. But before I start this video, I just want everybody to be aware that we did have a little accident on my team. My right-hand man, Gerard, was in a motorcycle accident. And this happened uh, about a week ago. Um, and he is still in a coma. So he was hit by a pickup truck while sitting on his motorcycle at a stop sign. And so he has been in a coma since last Friday, and uh, we're praying for a miracle. We're praying for him to um, make a full recovery. It's going to be a very long road, but, you know, we're pulling for him. So anybody that had deals with Gerard, don't worry. We are getting everything together, and we're going to still take care of the work that, that he started. So never fear. All right, guys, let's go ahead and kick off with this video. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back with a brand new video. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, and also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So if you saw the last video, you guys saw how I was living. Right here in this little house right here about two and a half years, 2.8 years, 2.9 years ago or something like that, I was living over here, and this is where it all began the credit and whatnot we did it all from right there the wife you know she uttered those famous words honey please fix our credit and over that three year period of time two year period of time 2.8 2.9 or however long it's been i've been able to make some serious moves so i want to show you guys what navy fed has done for me and here it is right here this here is a house that navy fed gave me 100% of the financing they approved me for 458,000 I didn't need 458,000 because I talked the owner down to 415,000 so in total they ended up lending me about 423,000 because they have a um, finance fee in there of 1.75% and I was able to roll that into the loan so it made my loan end up being 400 and uh, 22,000 almost 423,000 but the cool thing about this guys was I was able to get a commission out of this deal here yes I did I approached a realtor and I said hey man how would you like to make three thousand dollars he was like cool what do I need to do I said all I need you to do I already have the house picked out all I need you to do is to submit my offer. I already have the house picked out. I need you to show me the house, and that's pretty much it. And of course, he ended up with three thousand dollars. I walked away with almost nine thousand dollars from the sale of the house. So technically speaking, I really didn't come with anything. Uh, there was about four hundred eighty-three dollars that I was uh, bringing to the close that I had to pay out of my pockets, but it was kind of a wash because I got almost ten thousand dollars out of the deal. And yeah anybody can do this you guys can do this if you're looking you don't have to buy a house you know four hundred thousand or five hundred thousand you guys can buy a hundred thousand dollar house two hundred thousand dollar house but what I want to tell you guys is that you can get financing for a hundred percent so if you didn't think that you could do this Navy Fed is making it possible for you to get a house with 100 percent and guess what they are not paying me to say this but this credit union has been so good to me that right now I think that they have lent me well over probably six hundred thousand dollars in total with the RV motorcycle the house credit cards lines of credit yeah it's well over six hundred thousand dollars that Navy Fed has been to me now in order to get yourself in the position that I am in you're gonna have to learn how to be patient with your credit and down in the description of this video I have a blueprint for you that if you follow that blueprint you could be in the same position as me in probably a shorter period of time. So me, it took me in almost three years to get here. Maybe you could do it in two years. I know a lot of people, they want to run as fast as they can. They want instant gratification. But I'm telling you guys, it does not move that fast. And when you try to move that fast, you are going to wreck your credit. So move a little bit slow. Have some fun. I have fun on this journey. I had a lot of fun on this journey right here, but read the description down there in the description, follow those instructions and you can't lose. I'm working with a client right now. Once I'm done with his credit, 
We're going to go get cars. We're going to go get a house. We're going to get some things, some credit cards. And I'm going to get him in a position to be where I'm at if, if that's what he chooses. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop you some real jewels, some jewels that will make a difference in your life. So right now, this is the time you might want to break out with a pad of paper and a pen because I'm about to lay the game down on you guys. So here it is. First thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to run through this stuff pretty quickly. So like I say, you can always stop the video, rewind the video, but here are some real jewels for you guys. All right, so when it comes to filling out credit card applications... I know a lot of people think they know what they're doing, but I'm about to give it to you right here, right now. So the first thing you want to do is when filling out your application and the section that talks about how long you have lived in your current residence, you want to say five years or more. So if you were, let's say you lived there for three years, four months, turn that into five years, four months. Now, if you've lived there for seven years, you're great. And the reason for this is, is because it shows stability. So you wanna put five years or more. I don't care if you've only lived there for a year, put five years on there. I'm just gonna go drop these jewels right now, guys. Put five years or more. Now, the other important section of the application, of course, is the employment section. In this section right here, once again, you wanna say five years or more. So if you've been working there for, I don't know, two years, eight, eight months, put down you've been there five years, eight months. You don't have to worry about any of this information because they don't verify this information. So it looks good for you to be able to do this. If you are self-employed and your company is an LLC or something like that or S Corp or whatever it is and it has a name, you do not want to say that you are self-employed. You want to make it look like that you are an employee of the corporation because they look at self-employed they already know these guys are gonna fudge some things so you want to make it like you work for the company and you want to make yourself some type of manager or some you know upper level in the company all right now the income section now in the income section you're gonna to want to put a hundred plus put a hundred thousand plus I don't care if you make seventy thousand Put down that you make 110, 115, 113, 116. Put down over a hundred thousand because they're going to ding you anyways, regardless of what amount you put down. So if you put down fifty thousand, they're going to ding you anyway. So they might have you looking like you make thirty-five. So you need to raise the income, and this is really the key, or I should say, one of the keys to getting bigger funding. Now the other section of that is 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 your credit history. You're going to need to be 700 plus. Now, there are a couple of places out there where you really don't have to be a 700 plus. American Express comes to mind when I'm thinking about, you know, credit cards and charge cards where you can have a lower score of, say, like 670, 680-ish. You can get a platinum card. Now, the reason why they'll give you a platinum card because, hell, they charge you $495 a year. So, your chances of getting that if you have a 680 credit score are pretty good if you have, you know, decent credit, decent credit history. And you don't really even need that much. So if you've got six months, seven months, eight months, you should be just fine. Now, another thing you may want to do is you may want to go for the green card first and then upgrade after having the green card for, say, like four months and then upgrade to, say, like a platinum card or a gold card. So that's how you fill out an application. Now, as far as a house dealing with Navy Federal, here's what they're looking for, guys. What they are looking for, they're looking for two years W-2s or tax returns. I did tax returns. I did two years tax returns. And then, of course, my scores are over 700. But you don't have to be over 700 to get that 100% financing. You need to be... I don't know, 670, 680, somewhere in that ballpark, and you should be able to get 100% financing. And, of course, it's pretty much straight lace. There is no fibbing or lying or anything like that. You come with your W-2s or your tax returns, and, you know, if you don't have any, to say, liens and judgments against you, you'll be just fine. Now, if you have liens and judgments and whatnot against you, you will have to satisfy that before you're able to close. I had a situation where... Uh, my old Hummer, a Hummer that I had like 12 years ago, you know, it was through Chase. And they wanted me to satisfy 
$8,000. But when I contacted Chase, because it was so old, they just said, hey, we'll just give you $10.99 for the eight grand. So it's kind of a wash. So I didn't have to pay anything. And then we it, it kind of held me up. And that's the reason why I have not been able to make this video, because I couldn't close my house fast enough. And, you know, and right now, as you see through the video that, you know, we're still getting things together. So, you know, you know we don't have a bunch of pictures on the wall. We don't have a lot of accessories and whatnot. We have a few um, items that we did buy, as you guys can see in the video. But, yeah, guys, that's, that's it, man. That's right there. Me telling you how to fill out that application. What? Oh, wow. The sprinklers are on. Hey, I'm standing out in the front yard making this video, guys. So, you know, hey, I'm trying to live the American dream. I guess that's going to do it for this video, though, guys. So, remember, down in the description is the blueprint. I just told you how to fill out the application. Get to it. And I promise you guys, you'll be back on this video making comments, talking about, man, he was right, man. I got a nice, decent credit card by following his instructions you're welcome all right guys that's gonna do it remember to subscribe to the channel like the video share the video and what follow me on instagram facebook and twitter and until the next video i'm out peace